Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in, uh, get to. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, he says, hello there. Love your YouTube channel. Have a question for you. I have an Nikon D610 and I want to buy a D700. I heard a lot of good things about the camera color and contrast and low light com uh, capability. And the same time, my wife is going to buy me a D750 for Father's Day. So what is your suggestion? Should I sell my Nikon D610 and buy a 10 years old camera or just keep what I have and use my D610 as a backup and forget the D700? Just give me your honest answer. I'm not a professional photographer. I use it only for church and my kids soccer. Many blessings. Get to. Okay, I think I'm just looking. You said I have a D610 and want to buy a D700. Um, at the same time, my wife's going to buy me a D750 for Father's Day. And then you said, should I sell my Nikon D610 and buy a 10 years old camera or just keep what I have and use my D610 as a backup and forget the 700? Okay. So I think you are talking. At first, I thought it was just a little typo and we were all talking about the 750, but it sounds like your wife's getting you the 750 and you're curious about getting a 700 as a backup to the 610. My answer would be no. 700 was a good camera in its day. I would certainly buy one today if I wanted one for an inexpensive full-frame camera um, because I could get one for probably half the price of the 610. But the 610, um, with the exception of maybe the 700, has a little bit better autofocus system. The 610 is a better camera in the sense of more resolution, more advanced video, and um, just a better, cleaner, newer, more advanced sensor. Uh, twice the resolution. And I really like the 610. You wouldn't see me selling my 610 for a 700. 700 was probably more of a 750 body at the time in the sense of it's a little bit of an upgrade on the body. But the 610 still is a very competent autofocus system, especially if you're a center point focus recompose type shooter, which is what I and a lot of people shoot like. Um, so the 700 probably had a little bit more advanced system, but less advanced just from time for the sensor and for the video capabilities, which were nil. So I would not do that. I would keep the 610 as a backup to your 750. That's what I would do. Um, I would even, if it was me, I'd be looking at um, maybe not the 750 because if you could get a good deal on a used 800, 800E, or an 810, that's what I would go with because you should be able to get one for around the same price. And I think that I would just take the extra resolution and use that as my main camera and my 610 as a backup, pair them up with different lenses when you're shooting. Great. That's what I would do. Let me throw it back to our viewers. Do you agree with me? Would you not look at the 700? It's too old, really no advantages. Or do you think there's something about the 700, perhaps the autofocus system, perhaps the build quality that would entice you to buy that uh, and, and get rid of a 610. Bear in mind, there's no real video ability on the 700. So the 610, you're getting rid of something that's not the greatest video, but decent video abilities, 1080. So um, let me know. Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Gatu. It's an interesting question, interesting little dilemma he's got. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.